Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. In this video, I'll be giving you guys a nine month update on my Hillstream Aquarium. The setup has been running really well, except for the algae that's been growing all over the glass. This is always an interesting tank to watch because of the stiffened on gobies. They have a lot of character and personality, which makes them really interesting to watch. If I had the time, I could watch these gobies for hours and hours. Right now, it's kind of hard to do that with all the algae on the glass. So I think it's time I do a little bit of maintenance on this aquarium and clean up the glass to make it look a lot better. And then that'll make it a lot easier for me to watch my gobies. The first thing I'm going to be doing is siphoning out some of the water out of the aquarium. I'm using a turkey baster with the tubing to try and get rid of some of the debris that are in the substrate. You can see as I'm disrupting the substrate a lot of debris is getting kicked up into the water column. When all these debris and detritus are in the water column I can siphon them out and remove them from the aquarium. It's occasionally good to clean your substrate and get rid of all this stuff. If you leave this stuff in your aquarium eventually it will start to break down and rot. This might then cause some problems with the water quality of your aquarium. So I like to do this once every two weeks just to keep on top of it. I made a video on how I made this little gadget. There will be a little card in the top right hand corner of this video if you want to go check it out. It's also a really good gadget if you have planted tanks. It makes cleaning carpeting plants a lot easier. Now we're going to be moving on to clean the glass. You can see there's a ton of algae growth from the glass of the aquarium. During the summertime, the sunlight's directly hitting the glass of this aquarium. So for most of the day, the aquarium is bathed in sunlight. This is the perfect growing conditions for algae. When this aquarium, I'm not too bothered about the algae growth. Since I am keeping stiff on gobies in this aquarium, they eat the algae, which is a good source of food for them. I'm trying to encourage a little bit more green algae growth from the rocks. So I've increased my lighting to about 50% of the max of this twin star unit. I'm hoping this will create a nice layer of green algae on the rocks for the stiff on gobies to graze on throughout the day. But as you can imagine, using a high light setting is going to lead to a lot of algae growth in the glass too. This will probably mean I have to clean the glass more regularly. Instead of once every two weeks, I might have to do this once a week instead. Otherwise, I'm never going to be able to see the gobies properly. Luckily for me though, this process doesn't take too long. It usually takes me about five minutes to clean the glass fully. So it's not a bad process, it just takes a little bit of time to make sure you don't miss any spots. Since I was using my razor blade algae scraper, I didn't want to damage the silicon in the corners of the aquarium. What I like to do is use an old toothbrush just to clean those little areas of the aquarium. The toothbrush has a little bit of flexibility, so it just allows you to get right in the corners. It's also really useful to clean areas that are really difficult to get to. There are some rocks quite close to the glass of the aquarium, which are some difficult spots to clean. And since the toothbrush is a little bit flexible, it just makes it a little bit easier to get into those hard to reach areas. In this aquarium, I'm using a wooden air sound to help provide a little bit more oxygen in the water column. Stiffler and gobies really appreciate good levels of oxygen in their water, so this air stone provides just a little bit more for them. This wooden air stone produces a really fine mist, which is really good for diffusing oxygen into the water column. The only downside of using an air stone like this is that they get clogged up really easily. And also, they're not very easy to clean, so it's just best to get a new one every couple of months. They're really cheap, I paid about £3 for mine, so it's not too bad replacing them every couple of months. I've just turned the filter back on just to help clear up the water a little bit quicker as I'm adding the new fresh water to the tank. Stiff on gobies live in Hillstream environments, so it's really important they have really good clean water. Because the water turned over so much in the Hillstream environment, the water is always pretty much clean. So it's important to try and replicate these conditions as best you can, especially because these are wild caught fish and cannot be tank bred. I usually do a 25% water change once a week just to make sure the water quality is as best as it can be. That's pretty much all the maintenance now done. The water looks a little bit cloudy right now because of all the debris and detritus along with all the algae matter too. In a few hours time the filter will remove all this stuff and get the water looking a lot more clearer. You can see how clean the gravel has made it look a lot nicer now. The gravel is definitely looking a lot more cleaner in my opinion. Also this air stone is creating a much finer mist of oxygen in the water column. Hopefully this one will last a few months before it gets clogged up like the old one. One thing I really need to do is clean the lily pipes again. They've gotten really dirty again and I think it's time to give them another clean. Giving them a good clean will help to make the whole tank look a little bit more presentable. So here's the tank a few hours after I've done the maintenance. The filter's done a really good job at cleaning up the water. It's looking a lot more clearer now which is nice. Now with the water all settled down in the aquarium I can definitely see a more finer mist of oxygen bubbles in the water column. This is going to be really good for the stiff and who who really like highly oxygenated water. I think in the future I'm just going to keep on changing the air stones out more regularly. But overall the tank's doing really well now. It's matured really nicely and all the rocks have a really nice coating of algae on them. The stiff gobies can graze on the rocks throughout the day and night as well. 
hope I get a little bit more green algae going on the rocks. The goal is really like this kind of algae. So thank you guys for watching this video if you got this far. If you enjoyed this video, can you please give it a like? And if you want to see more videos from my channel, please subscribe. To end this video, I'm going to show you guys a little bit extra footage of me feeding my stiff young girl with some bloodworms. I hope you all enjoy it.